Hey everyone, it's Scott from CertMedia.com. Today I'm going to be talking about a major page speed improvement that you can make if you're using common contact forms. Particularly if you're using contact form 7 and other contact forms, I do recommend you don't use RE CAPTCHA. So why would I recommend that? RE CAPTCHA is a great anti-spam service if it's integrated correctly. And that's where most of these plugins tend to fail. Contact Form 7, which is the one I'll be demonstrating, is by far the worst offender. What Contact Form 7 does is it actually loads the JavaScript and the service on every single page. That doesn't mean that they're doing it incorrectly. In fact, the developer is using the service 100% as it's intended. The problem is, because its assets are being loaded on every page, every page suffers from a performance standpoint. To demonstrate this, I ran three performance tests. And keep in mind, this is using a stock Genesis sample theme, which I forgot to update because I just released it, and only the required plugins and Yoast SEO. I even disabled WordPress Forms Lite because it wasn't actively being used, and all the other ones are disabled. And then I ran some before metrics right here. Now, obviously, some things could be fixed. The image could be resized, and the page weight isn't perfect because some of the images could be lazy loaded or resized or served as WebP. But the point still stands that right now, this site is reasonably performing. Are there issues? Of course, and they could definitely be fixed. The one, then what I did is I went into contact and I enabled the integration for RE CAPTCHA. Keep in mind, this is not contact form 7's fault. This is completely the service's fault. And as you can see at the bottom right hand corner, the RE CAPTCHA symbol is loaded. And if you look, the API JS is rendered with my keys and the inline JS is also loaded. So everything is done correctly. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna run these same tests and I'm just gonna open them all in new tabs and run them again as a before and after illustration and we might see some fluctuations in the test maybe the TTFB is lower the second time maybe some of the assets were delivered quickly but we're still wanting to run the test to see the total effect of what adding a simple what took me less than two minutes to set up did to the website I mean I was able to add RE CAPTCHA in less than two minutes I did it as I was about ready to film this video. So it looks like the general tests are done. So we added this and it increased the fully loaded time dramatically, which if you understand the fully loaded time as a metric is no surprise, but let's look at the other key metrics. Yeah, our scores dropped, but what really happened? We added an additional 11 requests and about 200 kilobytes, 220 kilobytes of assets which then in turn affected our timings. Even though our TTFB was faster in the second one, the paint times and the onload event time went way up, as well as the DOM loaded time. So what this means is adding the one service, which only took you two minutes to add and you added it to cease your spam issues, actually severely impacts the website performance. But let's not just look at GT matrix. Maybe it's just a flaw at the test. And these tests are in no means perfect. So we come over here, same story, except this time it says that the page size, because it stops at the onload event time for Pingdom, was 1.2 megabytes. It was 807 kilobytes over here. It added an additional 12 requests, and the loaded time went up by 200 milliseconds. And that's stopping at the onload event time. And then we're going to look at page speed insights. And a lot of people say that page speed insights isn't good. I've said page speed insights isn't good, but it's a good way to tell if you're being destroyed by third party assets. So it's 69 on mobile with our interactive times here, and a desktop score of 93 with our interactive times here. We ran that same test. Now we've gone down from the 69 that it was to a 45. By adding the one service, you nearly lost 25 points like that. So a 25% increase, well, reduction, 
from adding one service. That really kind of illustrates the impact, especially if you're the kind of person that cares more about the grade than the actual meaning behind that grade. But even when you look at the meanings behind that grade, it doesn't look good. And our desktop score, because it's a desktop device, didn't seem much of a difference. The only thing you notice is a slower max potential first input delay, which went from 30 milliseconds to 310 milliseconds. And the time to interactive, as well as the first CPU idle time, both increased by about a second. What that just means is that on your desktop, the CPU time and the main thread is being eaten up more. So let's go back to the mobile, because when you're optimizing, you should be optimizing mobile first. And let's look at the impact. So these can be a little difficult to read into. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down to third party usage, which didn't exist over here. It added 276 plus 23 kilobytes, so at around 300 kilobytes of assets. And it added an additional around 500 milliseconds of main thread time. And it can really show over here where the CPU time of only this asset is more than everything else. And it seems to only be slowed down by the inline JavaScript. That inline JavaScript is mostly tied to the plugin itself, adding the inline JavaScript that's necessary for the callback. So that's a lot. The main thread times increased dramatically. It wasn't even an issue over here, but we'll go back up to our lab data, which gives us a little bit more detail. I'm gonna click this three lines so that way if you're reading, you'll be able to get a little bit more insight. But the contentful paint time stays the same because our CSS is still first. Our CSS will render it and it'll start painting roughly the same time. First meaningful paint time, exactly the same. The speed index is a synthetic score that tends, tries to measure how quickly the above the full content of the page is rendered and visibly loaded. Our CPU idle time went from the 3.2 seconds here to 7.8. And this is a mobile CPU. So we've added about 3.6 seconds solely to have a CAPTCHA for one contact form on a page where there is no contact form. The contact form is only on one page and you can't even find it without knowing the exact URL. The time to interactive is 9.6 seconds. That's up from the 5.8. And then our max input first delay went from 90 milliseconds to 1.3 seconds, so or 1340 milliseconds. So it's about 13 times slower from the max first input delay as it was over here. So what does this all mean? It means it means what you want to take from it. Contact Form 7 is not the issue. Contact Form 7 is actually a great plugin. It's very lean, it's very simple, and it's quite flexible and powerful because there's a lot of add-ons developed by the community. However, our eCAPTCHA is a very complex solution to a problem that most of the time isn't necessary. If you have a very inactive comment content form, contact form, then there's no reason there's no reason to be adding an RE CAPTCHA using the Akismet integration that Contact Form 7 or Ninja Forms or Gravity Forms offers is just as good. As an alternative, if you have to use a CAPTCHA or you're concerned about it, using RE CAPTCHA version 2 or version 3, but only loading the assets when your form is the recommended way to go. I don't think you're able to do that currently with Contact Form 7 because the inline JS exists here. I think you can do it with the old RE CAPTCHA version 2 and there is an add-on for contact form 7 that brings back the older version of the form of the CAPTCHA but that just goes to show while these integration for RE CAPTCHA is super streamlined super quick and effective at stopping spam it's also really effective at killing your page speed this was a very lean site overall wasn't optimized by any means outside of the box. I just had it installed. And it went from a 65 
to a 40, 69 to a 45. So it lost about 25 points, and a bunch of the metrics went completely haywire by adding one service that you probably didn't need. If you have any questions about it, you can feel free to ask me in the comments section below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.